All right, we are back. More Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you guys for all the support, by the way. Uh, I've been kind of just... Once I'm in cruise control playing this game, but the game, there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of story. Um, I'm kind of just learning everything. I'm actually taking notes as well, because I sometimes forget stuff. If there's a lot of, like, crafting and what you need, stuff like that, I uh, sometimes forget. So, uh, thank you guys for the likes and support. If you want more of this game, quickly just keep it up. And let's get it. All right, part of me wants to see the headpiece uh, just for a little bit. Maybe maybe we'll keep it on for now. Because I didn't really get a chance to see it in the cutscene. I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to see it up close. Here we go. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noxth territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. I'm going to just go ahead and... I guess we can do all of these? Let's go to embassy first. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. So now we can kind of keep going through each of these that keep expanding. I'm going to do all of these as much as I can. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Oh, this is gonna keep going. Hope for peace. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. All right, so we've already... Okay, it actually grays it out. Here we go. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years? Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. 
Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. All right, we actually went through our all. I may not do that for every conversation, but I just felt like this early in the game, I want to know as much as I can get, you know? Here we go. I, uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you or hold you back. But I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay? But long enough for us to spend time, to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Yo, okay. Uh, let's see, choose, I guess, the fist icon, and I will we'll confront the challenge directly. Use your insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Express compassion and give her voice in the deepest convictions. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to do the, uh, it's a nice thought or now's not the time. Not, it's like, it's such a 50-50, you know? I don't think the, are you kidding me is a good one. Um... I'm going to just say this. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well... If that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. All right, nice little conversation. Um, should we go to like the main? Modify your spear, let's go do this. This sounds intriguing. Oh, we gotta go up there. I like that the game kind of encourages you to do like the, I wouldn't call it parkour, but scaling like an area just there. to do something. The workbench. The only thing I'm looking at. Here we go. Spear upgrade. Uh, champion spear. Let's go ahead and craft this. Is that it? I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, that was all we needed to do. We're good. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Should I talk? I, I'm weird. It's like the optional thing is to talk to your friends. Do I get any other, like, XP, I wonder? All right. This is, I'm not going to ask everything in the conversation. I'm just going to just get Perfect. the general di dialogue Felicia. here. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. How have you been? Well, I gotta ask that, right? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? 
May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. Alright, I think I'm good. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Oh, I actually did all the uh, talking there. That was the last one. All right, let's go return to them. Wonder if I can scale the uh, stuff in the back, like going up there and everything. I'm assuming you you can do all that. Oh yeah, you'd have to, right? Because there's like a thing over here you can collect. All right, what is this back here? Let me investigate this. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. I think we've pretty much done everything here besides... Probably collecting a few things by climbing some of the stuff in the background. Alright, here we go! Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Let me hold on. Let me just look around really, really quick. Just a bit longer. Because I think once we leave this, we are pretty much heading out the Forbidden West. Um, all right. Let's see if I can climb any of this stuff right here. Really? I mean, there's probably no reason. Like this right here is probably not that big of a deal. Let's climb this though. Just see what happens. Um, is there something behind me I can- nope, okay. Hey, let's go. Yes, alright, nice. It's gonna be not for any reason. Ancient ring, got five of those. More metal shards. I'll take it. Not sure if we even supposed to go up here or not. I don't think anything else really is standing out here. Alright. Just go ahead and go. I think we're fine. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? It is time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Mine, but they 
dying won't subside No matter, no matter what I try seen anyone use one of those to get around <laughs> is that how I get to Baron light uh yes I mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines I can handle machines Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all the boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Not this time. 
Who is that? Karja's son, Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... It will be. Trust me.